Alexander III was succeeded by his son, Nicholas II. Oh, Nicholas. His coronation was marred by tragedy when 1,400 people were crushed to death at an open-air celebration in Moscow. Yep. And Nicholas is an interesting figure. He's definitely not as conservative as his dad, as Alexander III. Alexander III is basically an arch-conservative. Nicholas isn't like that, but he still does believe in autocracy, orthodoxy, nationality. You know, he's a believer. So he's conservative in that way, but he's far less conservative. He's more kind of wishy-washy. He's a little more moderate. He's not really a decisive man, to be honest. He's easily influenceable. <laughs> you know, all the qualities of a monarch who fares badly during a revolution.